guys welcome back to crafting with Kay. today we're going to do an embroidery video i'm going to embroider on this pretty sweater getting ready for the fall i'm going to go ahead and put my initials right here on the side on the chest area i was going to embroider on the pocket of this sweater but this is a 1x sweater and it's very very big on me so i thought that you'll be able to see the initials up here better i brought this from walmart for a dollar on clearance and i just love this sweater i do wear it um oh i wore it once and i decided um i wanted to put my initials i'm going to put my initials in black so let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay so i pulled up so what pro application and i'm going to go into my files I've already saved my initials. So this is a three inch. I believe this is the correct size that I wanna go with. It's three by two. So it will be three and three fourths high and about three inches wide. It's not the um, exact three by three, but um, it's close to three inches. And it's gonna be on a four by four hoop. And so with Pro, if you have this application, it gives you hoop sizes. So when you go in and you put your font of whatever font you, you have, and you want it to stitch out like this, um, it will give you options to choose from of what hoop. So this looks like it's gonna be on a, well, it will be on a um, four by four hoop. And um, yeah, because what I'm gonna stitch it on is not that much room. You see it as I go along in this video, but you see that it's not that much room to put a um, bigger initial on. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick with this size right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this onto my um, drive. Okay, so it's three inches. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so what I've done is I've already pulled my initials in onto my flash drive, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug my flash drive into my brother's PE 800. I'm gonna change the thread to white. I know I mentioned that I was gonna do black on the sweater, but I changed my mind. I'm gonna stick with the white color, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna thread this needle onto here so I threaded it And I'm gonna go ahead and prep my sweater and put it on the hoop. So this is how I go ahead and I hoop my items. Um, I'm gonna go at least seven inches down from the top of the sweater. Let's see, seven, about right in here. I want the initials to sit. I don't know where I got the seven inches from the top of your collarbone, but I saw it in one of a video, a YouTube video, and I thought it made sense. And I started doing seven inches down from that point on. So I have my four by four hoop. This is my sample thread, uh, my sample um, fabric that I use. You've seen this in previous videos. So we're gonna put that on the side. Here's our stabilizer. And we also gonna be using water stabilizer. And from my understanding, you use this on top of any type of fabric like this. This is a, um, what would you call this? What kind of fabric is this? Polyester? No, it is polyester. Okay, so I use this spray bond. It's a spray adhesive. 
and I stick it up underneath the garment where I want to stitch. Just as a reminder, I'm not a pro. I'm doing this as I go, as I learn. And I'm just sharing with you what I do and how I do things. So again, it's gonna be right in this area. Let me make sure so it needs to go up some. Like I mentioned, I'm going to use some of this um, water stabilizer. On top. So let me just make sure I'm in the right area. up here I might drop it a little yeah I think I'm gonna drop it a little it's gonna be a little past seven inches because of the way it's made um, it's kind of thin or doesn't have that much space up in this little breast area so And guys, make sure you look at the hoop before you hoop it. That's very important that you know your hoop is going to hook. So when you stick it on there, you don't want to have it like that. You want to make sure you stick it up underneath the garment the correct way. So when you put the hoop on. can see I placed the hoop on the sweater um, just be sure that you line it up um, you don't want the stabilizer to be too tight on the fabric you want it to have some give in it don't pull it tight and this is the back stabilizer I'm just basically showing you guys how I hooped it okay guys let's go ahead and put it on the machine I've been wanting to do that this time. You want to make sure that you have all your additional uh, fabric out the way. So when the machine starts moving, you want to make sure you watch your machine also. So when it's moving, nothing get trapped up underneath it. Because it will stitch it. I've experienced it. So you will see as I stitch this on here, I'm going to watch it very closely and um, make sure that nothing gets trapped up underneath here. I probably should have hooped it differently and had it a different way, but this is what we have. Also, when you put the design in, you wanna make sure that you turn it around. So we're gonna go ahead and program it and pull up the image of the embroidery. So I don't know if you caught that, so let's go back on your machine. Once you put your flash drive in, you wanna hit your flash drive picture. I have named mine's embroidery folder. And here's the stuff that I have in it already. Here's the initial. And being that I have my sweater in the correct layout, I won't have to I won't have to turn my image or anything. The image is gonna come out just like this on the four by four hoop. So, um, let's go ahead and make sure we have it placed where we want it. And that's basically size. No, okay. So 
let me make sure I know where it's gonna go. No, back, let's go right here. Okay, let's look at that one more time. think you could go over to the left a little bit because I don't know if you can see but up here is where the corner of your shoulder blade is at so I wanted to come over just a tad bit so okay so we're gonna push it over and let's see if this is okay Okay, so I moved it in the hoop to the left a little and I dropped it because I didn't want it to be in the in the um underneath the arm. So uh, too close to the arm. So I dropped my initials and I pushed it over to the left. So I'm okay with where I want it to go and I'm gonna be ready to start embroidering it. As I mentioned before, you wanna make sure that you don't have anything stuck anywhere underneath so you won't um, have a stitch on top of it so let's go ahead and start okay so here we have it okay guys so in the process when it first started I did change my tension and I regret doing that I changed this M to a tighter tension because I thought I needed it for this type of fabric. And I don't think I needed it. So I'm gonna try to take this hoop off on camera. And everything I have on here is tear away, so. So here's my backing. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, but you know, let's see. And with this water stabilizer. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. It will um, disappear when it's wet. <clears throat> Let me try it on so you can kind of get a full view of where it's positioned at on this sweater. Okay guys, here's the final product. Um, this is where I put my initials at. This is a 1X sweater, so it's oversized. And I try not to put it in the armpit. I try to basically put it evenly between the armpit and the stitching right here. So I hope you guys like it. If you do, subscribe. And until next time, bye.